What's poppin' everyone? I'm Red Laser, and in the last episode, we got all decked out with the shiny, shiny diamond gear. But this is the nether challenge. So shiny diamond will not do. Diamond is an overworld thing, and I despise the overworld. So today, I'm gonna be getting shiny, shiny netherite gear. But not only that, I'm gonna max out every piece of netherite gear that I get. But before we do that, I'm gonna need some more emeralds and i'm a bit tired of farming things manually so i think i'm gonna do my first bit of redstone automation and build an afk melon farm maybe even pumpkin who knows i know and i say we just do melon for now so first i gotta clear an area all right now that that's done we just need to get a few bits and bobs of redstone I'm putting a pin in the automation of melons because I don't have any quartz and I gotta go to the nether for that. So, I mean, I might as well mine some netherite while I'm there, hmm? So I'm back in the mine. I'm gonna have my pickaxe swinging from side to side. Side, side to side. Alright, well, let's see how much netherite this is. One, two, come on, please be a triple. Please be a triple. <gasps> oh, baby, a triple! Oh, oh yeah! yeah! This will fund me very much in my quest to being the most- Oh, an advancement! I did not know Ancient Debris had an advancement. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get that one today. I mean, I said that last time and then I did it with an achievement, so... I should probably not say anything about achievement and just let them happen. The next batch of debris I found while mining... Ooh, two... Let's see, three, a th another three, another three-er? Ah, nah, looks like it's just a two-er. Hmm. Alright, well, that's good enough. Hey, we already got one piece of netherite. Netherite, that's, that's really good. Well, that's all the ancient debris that's just lying in my tunnels. Five, it's pretty good. Now, I was gonna go mining for more after I plucked out the five that I've already found, but then I realized I forgot to bring beds. I had plans to trade with my villager for beds to come here and do some bed mining because that always really seems to work. But then, turns out, I forgot to bring beds. I am very forgetful in that way. So instead, I just came here for five ancient debris and quartz, and I'm gonna have to make two very long 2,000 block trips. Man, I really should get a nether portal in the village! Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh, thank you so much for feather falling! Oh my god! If I had lost all my levels, I would have quit. I would have deleted this world. I mean, that's probably a lie, but oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't die. Oh, I really need to get feather falling. Oh, I almost did it again! After suffering a traumatic near-death experience, I have decided that the first thing I'm gonna get with netherite is a pair of feather falling four boots. I have returned, and now with the quartz, I can build my automated melon. But first, I've gotta mount these these drowned head onto my head wall. Pop, 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 and there we go. Continue with the redstone, me. Thanks, me. Welcome to Red Laser's Redstone Tutorials. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build an automated melon or pumpkin farm. Now, this is an improved version of my melon and pumpkin farm from before target blocks were added. And by improved, I mean it's one block shorter, and you don't have to use repeaters, and you use res less stone. And you use less redstone. Now, the first thing you want to do is clear out an area like I have. And then, this is a modular design, but I'm going to be building five modules. For each one, you're going to need one piece of redstone, one piston, one target block, one observer, two dirt, and two seeds of your choice, either melon or pumpkin. Other seeds won't work. You'll also need some building blocks. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to build my output chest first. So for that, you'll need a chest or whatever you're running this into, and then a hopper to put it into that. Now, for the first one, you need to put two dirt blocks like this, and then some a solid block, and then another one there and there. And that's where your water source is going to be. You could also flip this around, but I, I want it here for some reason. After you place the water, I recommend hoeing your dirt and placing your seed so as you're building it, then it'll start growing up. Next, what you want to do is you want to place an observer facing this way, 
then a piece of redstone dust here, and then another block there. You don't really need a block there, but it might make it easier. So if you want to, you can. If you don't, you don't. So then you're gonna put a target block there, and then here, a piston, and it's done. At least the redstone bit. You still have to place whatever you're gonna collect the melons with here. Uh, actually, if you're using a water stream, this, the collection thing has to be one lower. I always forget that, so my collection systems, they always look like a chest in the ground. It's really weird, but yeah, just make sure if you put a hopper, it can be on level, but if you put a water stream, you're gonna want it to be one block lower than the actual dirt. Now I'm just gonna control C, control V this five more times, and voila, my melon farm is done. Now I'm just gonna get AFK for a bit, let this, you know, grow up all the plants, and maybe start harvesting some melons. Well, I got a lot less melons than I expected, but I'm pretty sure that's just because the melons were just hopping onto the side lots of times, but I have a solution to fix that. If I just purchase some glass panes from my librarian, and then I put them between the middle, the melon should just fall in here no matter what. So I think I'm gonna do that right now all right so now if i'm correct which i probably am not this farm should be lossless but anyways that was a very big distraction let's get back to getting the perfect set of armor i realize i might not be able to get the perfect set of tools but the armor is more important right so the first thing we have to do is get netherite but before that i think it might be best to build an enchantment table and anvil and get all that stuff set up because maybe I'll die and then at least I'll have my good boots. While I was coming here I saw an abandoned portal underground and I realized it took way too long to go from here back to base so I brought some obsidian and I'm gonna build a nether portal and use some of it to make the enchantment table. I also got a bunch of gold so that won't be a problem so we'll have enough gold for netherite. One nether portal and enchantment table later I think it's time for me to write up Yet another book, this time with the list of all the enchantments I need for all the tools and armor that I could possibly want. Book is done. At the beginning I tried organizing things, getting the armor and then the combat stuff, but then I got lazy at the end and just shoved everything in it. And there are a lot of things you can enchant. Some of them are less useful than others, but eh. Yeah, you can do it. One enchantment in particular that caught my eye was the cleaving enchantment on the axe. Apparently there's something called combat snapshots, which are different than regular snapshots, and you can't cut them from the launcher. I don't know, it's weird, but they tested stuff, I read some things. Apparently axes are gonna be able to have a uh, sweeping edge in the future and they might add a cleaving enchantment. I don't know, it's weird and I don't really wanna think about it cause that's gonna come in like, I don't know, maybe in the food update 1.18, I'm not sure. But anyways, now I'm gonna have to do some trading with my librarian to get a full enchantment setup so I can get my boots. Yeah, I, I've kind of, I might get full armor but I've kind of given up on getting full everything by this point. These bookshelves cost me an arm and a leg. I might have been better off going off and killing cows, but I'm not sure. It feels like it was easier, but villagers, man, they could have swindled me hard. Now that the enchantment table's done, all I can do is hope for the best, I guess, and then get an anvil and do some fine tuning. It's time to make my first piece of netherite. Please tell me I got an achievement for that. I do not. Sorry if the aspect ratio is weird. OBS is being shit again and it's not letting me record full screen. Like come on. OBS they really got to they really got to fix this. This has happened so many times. I'm just I'm not very content with this. Well, Netherite boots. Now it's time to go hope for the best enchantments. Yippee. I'm probably gonna end it early. It's really late and well I can't really do much. Oh, an enchantment. That's pretty fun. Hey, protection four. That's pretty good. Come on. It's just protection four. 
Man, I'm never gonna get perfect armor at this rate. Maybe I should just settle for protection four. Maybe I just want feather falling four. That's all I want, feather falling four. Come on, please, please. Depth Strider, okay. Depth Strider and protection four. That's. You know what? I'll take it. I will take that. Hopefully I can get Feather Falling on a book, but I highly doubt it with my luck. Alright, well, it's the next day, and I've decided just, I'm gonna get full Netherite. Maybe not perfectly enchanted, but at least I'm gonna have it. Hopefully I can get Feather Falling 4 on my boots, but whatever. It's, it's okay. I mean, OBS is still acting up, I can't record full screen, so... You're just gonna have to be used to this weird, strange, windowed version of Minecraft. Okay, so, first off, the netherite boots. I gotta get feather falling because my near-death experience made me realize if I fall, I'd lose all these levels, and that wouldn't be good. So hopefully with this I'm breaking 3, we get feather falling 4. Oh my goodness. Blast Depth Strider again? That's the second time I've gotten Depth Strider 3. I don't want Depth Strider, I want feather falling. You know, it might be worth just getting a Feather Falling Villager, but that would take so much time. And I don't have enough room for that, so I'm just gonna have to keep hoping for the vest. Maybe? Come on, please, please. I'm breaking three again. Feather Falling. Protection four. I'm breaking three. And Depth Strider three. Okay. I, I have to get it. That's the best one I've gotten so far. Ugh. <sighs> Well, I mean, I guess I'll enchant a bunch of books and then combine them in the anvil to get Feather Falling 4. <sighs> this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I've done it! I've gotten every single Feather Falling book I could possibly need to put on my boots. Oh, praise our Lord and Savior. Oh, this is a great day. This totally makes up for the fact that I lost all my levels and I can't, won't be able to do anything I had planned today. Yeah, definitely. You see that I'm lying. That's me lying. I mean, at least now I'll be able to title the video Getting Hermes' Sandals. But that's pretty good. So, let's... First off, I've got to... Where did my boots go? Oh, there are my boots. First off, I've got to put on Feather Falling 3. Just so I have at least a little bit of Feather Falling. And then I can start combining all these books to get myself another Feather Falling 3 book. And then, bada bingo, bada bongo, I'm out of levels. Hold on, let me go either do some trading or some mass murder. After a little bit of economic stimulation, I've got the eight levels necessary to put Feather Falling 3 onto my boots to get Feather Falling 4. Oh, this is awesome. I am satisfied. I don't care if I get any more enchantments now. Not that I would be able to, but now I'm still gonna go get netherite armor, but I don't care about the enchantments anymore. I got what I wanted. I got feather falling. Sadly, I won't be able to be renaming the great book of enchantments and the great book of villagers since I'm out of levels, but maybe after I smelt up some more ancient debris, I could do it. I'm sick of boating, so I'm gonna go through the nether portal at the village base for the first time ever to see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. It's a dangerous place. I'm gonna go back now. Well, someone has to brave the brave journey, and since there's no one else in this world that has sentiences, then I guess that person's gonna be me. I guess I'm building some defenses, and I'm already being attacked. Well, this is just fantastic. Oh, that's not fantastic, him going through the portal. Walls have been constructed, inventory has been organized, and now it's time to somehow find my way back home. Hey, I found it, and I, I found it right next to the mine. This is very convenient. All right, well, I guess it's time to go mining for some netherite. All 28 beds are now in place, so, Let's make things go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I can't stop singing this bloody tune, tune, tune. It's gonna make my brain go. Boom, boom, boom. I can't stop singing this bloody tune, tune, tune. Now let's assess the quote unquote damages. Mm hmm. Okay. Lava there. Gonna have to clear that later. 
Hmm. There seems to be quite a bit of gaps. A lot of lava there. Gonna have to clear that out too. Any netherite? Oh, oh, there's some netherite over there. Ah, oh, very good. Now I can get at least two pieces of armor. Hopefully we make that four. Ah, oh, more netherite. More netherite. I like it. I like it. Uh, anything else? Another piece of netherite. That's at least three pieces of netherite armor. So that's very good. Um, let's see here. On the last few tunnels, more netherite. That's awesome. Only a single, though, so that's not the greatest. And, yeah, that's it, I guess. So it looks like we're going to be able to have enough for full netherite armor. And if not, I'll just get myself a turtle shell because those are awesome. I've called the fire department and they've dealt with all of the dangerous hazards. So now I can mine out all the resources. Yes, even the quartz. They'll mostly be for experience though. And then I'll count up how much netherite I got. I have finished mining out all the resource in there. And I got like, I don't know what, 10 levels, 10 ancient debris and a bunch of golden quartz. But I need 12 ancient debris, so I think I'm going to go out in one direction in mine to try to get at least one more piece of ancient debris so I can get the full netherite armor. I've done it! I finally found it! The last piece of netherite I'm going to need to get full netherite armor. Oh, it's only one piece too. That's kind of perfect, I guess, since now I don't have to have any spare and I like having... Oh, mwah! And I got 30 levels. I am going to be able to enchant my leggings. They're going to be practically perfect. I mean, my chest plate is basically almost perfect. I just need another protection 3 on it. Some thorns 3, which I don't really like that much, so it's not really that necessary. And mending, and then it's a perfect chest plate. I really lucked out with that armorer. He was incredible. Right, so now all that's left to do is head back to the village and get this done. Ah. Oh. Feels so good when a plan comes to an end. Whew, we're back in the village now. And now all that's left to do is smelt up some netherite and then... Oh, man. I'm done. I've done it. I've gotten netherite armor. This is so awesome. I'm really, really happy about this. And I've got a bunch of gold too. That's very cool. You know, this is what they call in movies, the climax. Oh, will you look at that? Three perfect netherite ingots. Oh, I don't want them to despawn. Oh, this is really exciting. All right, so now I gotta take off my armor. Oh, please don't look. Think of the children. Think of the children. All right, so we take my helmet, and then bam, netherite helmet. Then leggings, bam. Netherite leggings, then chest plate, bam, netherite chest plate, cover me in the breeze, I've done it, I got a purple advancement, oh, I love purple advancements, they're the best color advancement, ooh, I look so nether, this is awesome, and now I think that what's really left to do is try to enchant my leggings, that's what I said, right, was it what I said, well hopefully it is, because if it isn't, I just disenchanted my leggings, and that's an undoable act. So let me get my lapis lazuli. Do I have any lapis? I'm not sure I have any. I gotta go get it out of my chest. Alright, I mean, I kinda was hoping for protection 4, but that's okay. Maybe, maybe. Protection 3, and I'm breaking 3 leggings. I could do better, but you know what? It's fine, it's fine. Um... Oh, I wonder what I need to get out the books. Oh, yeah, I've got enough levels to rename the books now. Oh, this is, it's all coming up. It's all doing well. All right, that is my great book of enchantments. So let's just see. Great book of enchantments. Nope, not enchantments. Enchant. Mints. There we go. Great book of enchantments and the great book of villagers. Great book. <laughs> book of village. Oh my god. There we go. Alright, let's see. What else did I need for the boots? Mending. I got that. I'll get that later. Feather falling. I got that. Soul speed. That. I'll get that later. Uh, and Depth Strider. 
I've got it. I've got the best boots practically. Protection four and breaking three. I'll get. I'll put mending on it after this, and then depth strider and feather falling, and then all that's left is soul speed, and I'm gonna get that pretty soon. So I done it. I've gotten Hermes's sandals. I might as well rename it now since I've got the levels and all. So let's go here, then ba ba ba. Her Mies as sandals. Ah, there we go. Now with these sandals, I'm going to be able to fly onto the nether roof and build myself a gold farm, which is an XP farm and an emerald farm because I can trade gold with the clerics. Oh yeah, it's all coming along. We're back doing nether stuff next episode. And since I've already got the mending in and breaking villagers, getting those books won't be a problem. It'll just be a lot of farming and then trading, so I'm gonna do that off camera over the week. Oh man, I'm so excited. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.